Good evening. Rugby is a full contact sport that's been played since the 1840s. Part of the reason why the sport is still alive today is because those who play it can't get enough of it. Just ask the members of Black Hills Rugby who are trying to give the sport new life in western South Dakota. We have football here, we have hockey, we have frisbee golf, all those different sports. There's no reason why Rapid should not have a rugby team again. Rugby is one of the most popular sports in the world, but that's not exactly the case here in the U.S. But players like Joey Spoony Love Lawrence are looking to change that, at least here in western South Dakota, through Black Hills Rugby. Black Hills Rugby originally started back in 2007. Me, uh, me and a group of buddies that were in law enforcement school and some Air Force guys started it. Lance Fastwolf was one of the club's first members. I just came across a flyer at a play game sports. And I looked at it and I happened to come out the next day to practice. And since then I've been hooked. I live in Pine Ridge, a little community called Red Shirt Table. And myself, my sons, and my nephew, we drive up here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for practice. But after the group's promising start... Certain people got deployed, and I got married, and the team went defunct for about eight years. It took the COVID-19 pandemic to revive Lawrence's club when he created the Dead Presidents Rugby Facebook page, attracting experienced players like Lorenz Blanco Arboleta. So when we got here in 2021, I wanted to continue playing rugby. So I would, you know, kick the ball around, toss the ball around at the base. I joined the Facebook page. Joey posted something about, oh, there's a game in Gillette. You know, you guys want to come out? I hit up Joey, he was like, hey, we might want to do it. And it kind of just started right there. They also found their new head coach in Ivan Steiger, better known as Gerbil. I was playing with Spoon over in Gillette. I told him, well, I'm living in Lead. So if you guys, if you get more people to show up, I'll come help coach. We started here four strong, and now we're getting 17 at practice. Now with enough players to field an entire team, Black Hills Rugby was able to play a game last month against a squad from Billings. That was our first 15s match ever. So I thought we did very well considering that. Going to a real 15s match with these guys after you know, going from five people to practice to 20 people and everybody learning and growing together. It was a great experience. Since then, they won a match on their home turf against Sioux Falls, which they hope is a preview for what's to come in the future for Black Hills Rugby. We want to introduce rugby to, the, to this area, just establish this team and eventually just keep growing. Well, if you're interested in giving rugby a shot, be sure to try it out at one of their practices at Founders Park Field. They normally practice Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. as well as Saturdays at noon. Now, they welcome everyone of all abilities, no experience necessary. You can also follow the Facebook page. Just type in Dead President Rugby. Well, in American Legion Baseball tonight, the post-320 stars swept Spearfish post-164, winning the first game 12-2 before being shut or before shutting them out in game 2-10 zip. A big day for high school softball in Sioux Falls. Sturgis lost a pair of games to Yankton and Sioux Falls Lincoln. Central fell to Watertown, Brandon Valley, and Pier, and Stevens lost their first game to Jefferson, recovered with a win against Yankton, only to lose to Harrisburg on their final game of the day. In the NBA, the Boston Celtics have taken a 2-1 lead over the 76ers. They won in Philly, 114-102. Meanwhile, the Suns are currently ahead of the Denver Nuggets in tonight's game, but Denver has a 2-0 lead over KD and Phoenix. Well, you're not finished with rugby yet either, Ben. You've got more coming up. Tonight. Not just yet. Tomorrow we've got part two. Today we learned a little bit about uh, the rugby club, how they've kind of formed. Tomorrow it's more about why you should try rugby and give it a shot. They love it, so why shouldn't you? All right. Thanks, Ben.